Sanctum Sanctorum set. Um, here is the packaging. With 1,004 pieces. Uh, four minifigures. The Iron Spider, Doctor Strange, Ebony Maw, and Iron Man. It also comes with one big figure called Obsidian. Let's start with the minifigures. So, the Iron Spider design is really good, is arm printing. The problem is that these, um, this back attachment blocks the back printing. So if you take off the head and you remove the um, back, you, can, you get to see the um, spider back printing. I don't want to lose the spider head. Next, you have uh, Doctor Strange. He comes with multiple different um, add-ons. We all know what those are. He has some minor back printing, which is pretty cool. Is the Eye of Agamotto on his chest, and he has a double-sided head. It's more angry expression back there. This cape keeps going down. So anyway, um, next we have Ebony Maw, who has some pretty ornate printing on him. He only has a single-sided head, and he has one power blast, and then there's an extra. Next we have Iron Man, who comes with this um, new foot uh, blast thingy. And of course he comes with multiple attachments. See those. He has some pretty nice printing. This is the uh, Mark 50 armor. He has this head with the visor, or not visor, display. And he also has this confident smile. Then we have the big figure, um, Call Obsidian, who has some pretty decent printing. No toe printing which is unlike the Hulk. The problem with this big fig is that, see how this arm can move? But um, this arm is stuck, like right there. You can't move it any higher or low or around the other direction because this shoulder pad is in the way. You can't move the arm past there. You can't move the arm past here. He, uh, with him, he also has these two hammers which are, to be honest, kind of poorly built. I had to glue them, these things together, because they kept falling apart, and I never glue my Legos. So next up, we have the actual building itself. I'm gonna start with just uh, the outside. So, uh, it's incredibly accurate. I'm a New Yorker, I would know. So if you look on the outside here, they have the 177A, which is almost a nod to uh, Benedict Cumberbatch's Sherlock Holmes, because he lived on uh, Baker Street and he had three numbers and letter. Maybe I'm crazy, but you know. Aren't we all? They, we have this new window design. This is a decal this time. These very interesting plates here. I like this design up here. Really looks accurate. Over to the side, we have this little corner alleyway, which can be uh, detached and put on the side over here, which I'll show later. Here we just have a garbage can, which inside, well, there is a bone. And I'll put it on later. We have this little web design with somebody's phone on there, which has incredible detail, even showing the battery percentage. We have these nice boxes right here. 
and even this little mail area, which they gave a lot of detail to by creating three tiles with deep decals on them. You also have um, two pizza slices. Well, one pizza slice, I added another one because I have the extra, and why not? Because apparently people don't like this pizzeria very much. So this has the Bleak the Street sign, of course, and a typical, almost like Brooklyn-esque building. The fire escape building is kind of cool. It works pretty well. Maybe this is supposed to be up, I think. Yeah, I just built it like five minutes ago. Um, over here, there's a play feature where um, let's say you take a character. Um, no, I'm just gonna put Spider Man's head back on. Where is his head? Yep, I'm gonna make it really inaccurate and I'm gonna use Ebony Maw. So, if you stick his hand to there, which is not going on, of course, now that I'm filming the video. There we go. And if you look up here, there's a little water tower feature. And if you turn this and you keep holding it, the character will go up. It looks cool if it's Spider-Man. And then if you release, it gets stuck. He'll sort of go down by himself. Never mind, I guess he doesn't go down by himself. But he did last time, that was kind of cool. So, the other play feature here is if you go to this knob, push it in, the window is going to fall out. I'm just gonna put that back in there. Um, another play feature is over here. If you take this web, and actually you can get a character to grab onto it. I'm going to use the oh, now head full Spider-Man. I have him grab onto here, and let's say you swing through, and his bedroom window just fell out. Do you see that? Okay, good. I'm gonna put that back in there. So on, on the inside, we have some pretty cool details. Let's start with the um, Sanctum Sanctorum. So here we have this nice uh, armchair element, which incorporates the normal chair with some extra build. He has some weapons, there's an axe here, and on the other side, you have a golden sword. Yeah. So I get this in. If you take a look in there, there is a decal which has an ancient scroll on it. On that opposite wall. Can't really see it, but there is a scroll there. Right, right there. You also have a lamp, which is a really interesting element, which I've never seen anything done like that before. I thought it was gonna be some sort of like hidden crate. Speaking of crates, here we have a crate or trunk with. Uh, two daggers inside of it, which are kind of a pain to get out. I mean, I can't, but I'm pulling the camera off now. That's fine. We have more decals over here. The room, probably. This trophy, I'll get to that later. And up here we have the window again. A nice torch, I like that. Oh, a skull. More books and lots of books if you're a wizard. Yes. Two cups, you can only see one though. Like, even for me, I still can't see it from over here. And you can sort of have Doctor Strange just, you know, hang out up here. They have actually a decent amount of stud room. So it's great. We have some unopened mail. And the amazing thing that you can't see is actually that there's a decal inside of there. I think you can see it a little bit. It's uh, another unopened piece of mail. 
Now if we move over to Peter Parker's apartment, down here below we have a really, really cheap menu. Again, you can't see it. But it's one dollar for a burrito, a dollar for burger, and you can't see the pizza, but there's a dollar for pizza. We have a fire hydrant, a full pie, um, a nice keypad element. Okay, I don't know what this is. Like, I seriously do not know what this is supposed to be. Is it like a cheese mixer or something? Ugh. Whoever's watching this, if you know, if you know, please tell me. Um, this is a nice ore. And to be New York esque, they have a brick oven pizza. In order to make it special, they actually used the brick elements to make it a brick oven pizza. Over here, we just have a couple boxes labeled Pete stuff. And over here, we have his sort of like laboratory. And a couple maps, it's another sticker, Spider Man idea. There's this old computer, I think it's like an old Mac or something, the desk lamp. And this keyboard, they actually make more accurate now because it used to just be A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But now they make it with the Q, W, E, R thing. Now, to be honest, this computer thing is kind of weird because it's all lopsided. I prefer if like, I can move the keyboard over to the right a bit. Anyway, so here I sort of cheated at Lego because you're supposed to have the uh, window pane on the outside, but then you can't move it at all. So this way I... Um, got the paint to sort of move in the inside a little bit so it's like if you open the window it looks crack if you move the boxes it looks better i also cheat i well, didn't cheat out here but i now can open this window because you now who doesn't want to open the window it's a little web sticker on it up here we have his bedroom which is a there's a captain america poster which says i want you to stay in school. It's a bunch of random phone numbers, it's just lines and boxes. I can think of a couple wanted posters. But this new bed design is great because there's more space for you to, um, you know, lay a character there. Because before it was, I think, just uh, two by one, I believe. But I think this is, no, one, yeah, two by one. I think this is. Um, not two by one, that's stupid. Um, however many this is, I think it's, uh, one, I think this is just six. It's usually six by two, I, this, but this is six by three. It's a great new bed. It's a little bit of a bed post. Another bit of pizza. And this, I love this when they just give you a little bit of space where you can put a character. I'll use that in a while. Because you rarely ever get these, um, Spaces where you can just play with the character. Um, that focus is weird. Um, but there's also another reason for that, which is because out here there's a little knob, a red knob. So if you pull that while a character is standing here, they will drop through into this little area down here. I also like these doorway elements. So once you have that, um, there's a couple more play features, I think. Oh, there's something cool here, you can stick a character on there. All right, over here, remember how I tell you about that bookcase in there? If you saw that um, knob over here, I'm gonna twist that, and then if you do that, the wall comes out, and now you have a hidden area where you have the infinity stone. Which I'm not going to take out because apparently it's now stuck in there. Give me a minute. So that's the, this infinity stone and this will be able to go into the infinity gauntlet. Another thing you can do with the set is fold this down like that. We get this back to back look. You can also pull out this little section and you put this into here. Then you can get it into the side like this. 